And here you can see a uh, different sort of food waste which was produced uh, here at the Faculty of Tropical Agri Sciences. So generally it's all sorts of leftovers from lunch. You can see some fries, some rice, some uh, tortillas. There is also some uh, spent coffee grounds as well as some uh, fallen leaves from, uh, from the plants here. So we mix it all up, uh, place it in and we put it into the food cycler. And we close it up and it's ready to go. Now we close it. Uh, now we close the machine and we just switch it on. What will happen? That first it will start drying, adding air. Uh, then it will be uh, grinding, so we know what what is happening. Uh, together it will be still aerating and heating. And in the end, in last uh, half an hour, it will be cooling down and getting ready for the final product. What happens inside is that uh, uh, more or less it's three basic processes. First is that it's uh, aerating, it's putting a lot of air to the, uh, to the mixture and then it's uh, uh, mixing the whole, uh, the whole mixture there so it, it uh, breaks it down into smaller particles and it heats it up yeah, and it heats it up uh, around 50-60 uh, degrees in order to uh, help the process go faster but also uh, to get rid of all the potential pathogens uh, in case of for example meat and other products and this is happening for three to six hours depending on the amount of waste you put in and then you wait maybe half an hour uh, to let it cool it down and then it's ready